In today's world, trade is a collage of global markets, supply chains, competing brands, quality standards, movement of goods across borders, business regulations, cutting-edge skills and services. Aid in support of trade is coming in to make a difference. But what is behind the headlines? What impact does it actually have on people's daily lives? How can partners and programs support poor countries to get ahead on trade? When does it work? And where can more be done right now? The Enhanced Integrated Framework, EIF, is getting people to act on the trade agenda. On the ground, agencies and development partners are backing countries' own roadmaps for change. It's building strong foundations and helping governments bridge to more support. Trading Stories takes a closer look at eight of the poorest countries worldwide who are using trade to shape futures. Find out from the people themselves what is happening with fresh partnerships and higher value products and what potential lies ahead. What is Uganda's trading story? To get trade to flow by making inroads into tackling poverty, promoting infrastructure and access to knowledge while boosting livelihoods needs leadership and a bold vision. Trade starts local. So how can communities get the market knowledge they need to get more from their produce? District commercial offices, DCOs, are connecting cooperatives and businesses and putting trade back into people's hands. Uganda is an agricultural superpower. We have now to translate this as wealth for the people. And to do that, we are committed to reduce the cost of business. Rolling out trade activities nationwide is a bold ambition. Local context matters. Getting people plugged in is the first step. Now, trade is reaching out with knowledge exchange across districts, resource centers giving updated trade data and support services knocking at the farm and factory door. help us to develop the information database which then can be used to inform the various decisions that are made around trade and trade development with the various people that are acting in, in their capacities as traders. We will be able to, to develop linkages uh, linking the production sector to the marketing so that we, we have a complete value chain at the end of the day. But how do you get trade to flow at the border and make doing business easier? The Enhanced Integrated Framework EIF program is about putting trade first. Through strong government coordination, building public-private sector dialogue and better regulations, it helped systems work better. 
Now projects on DCOs, hotels, skills, training and silk are taking it even further. Trade is the locomotive for economic emancipation, prosperity and transformation of the economy of Uganda. What the EF projects has brought to the fore, because trade is first essentially local, and to bring that level of understanding and appreciation that for us to compete regionally and internationally. Partnership between Customs and Ministry of Trade is like an umbilical cord. Major achievements have been in the areas of easing the movement of goods. We have implemented what we call the One Stop Border uh, Initiative, reduction of clearance from about three days to about two hours and less. The Diagnostic Trade Integrated Study and recommendations have guided a lot of the development partners and government to streamline the activities in the promotion of trade. At the steering committee, this has helped to bring forward the key impediments within the uh, trade sector. When you start to think innovatively around border cooperation with your neighbors, you can give trade a new push, helping stem illegal activities. With trade at the heart of the National Development Plan, it's about scaling up everyone's backing to catalyze this potential into outcomes countrywide. The government of Uganda has realized that sustainability is important and that trade is important. And therefore, activities are being incorporated into the national budget. The DICOS project is going to support 25 districts, but through the mainstreaming, the government of Uganda is supporting 15 other districts. Every year, there will be support going to additional districts. To make services in tourism work for trade, you need to get serious on upgrading the labor market skills you need for the industry to prosper. The EIF and partners are investing in young people's futures, focusing on standards to attract travelers. The Hotel and Tourism Institute has taught me very many things and first it has made me grow personally. There is a lot of competition in, the, in this field, so we need people who can give us think, the skills that we need to compete with other people outside. The EIF can help a lot in terms of the capacity building area, uh, empower and get better quality personnel who can then properly run this industry. The DCOs are empowered to pass on the key messages, share the importance of tourism, the benefits, and what can accrue from that to the local communities. Public-private partnership strengthened to the extent that now, before government shapes policy, especially looking at budget policy, there is a lot of influence that comes from the private sector. <music> Part of the government's plan is to grade hotels across the country. That means partners in the chain, training schools, hotels and hospitality institutions need to tap into the trade momentum now. Supporting the sector's focus on quality is vital to get the global visitor's stamp of approval. The tourism sector is a sector where the poor people can be able to get employment, can be able to benefit from. If the tourism sector is supported and the people are trained and equipped to work in the sector, it's one of the sectors that can be a growth engine for any country or any region. Uganda is leading the way for trade in goods and services to matter to communities and traders from the local level up and flow across borders. 
making change happen in poorer regions, tracking how systems function and improve livelihoods is key. Expanding trade hubs, facilitating movement of goods and upgrading potential means trade is drawing up a map for growth. EIF would be very important uh, working on the supply side. 90% of the private sector here being small and medium enterprises with the attendant challenges of skills, technologies, but also market information in terms of value addition to be able to get ready for these markets that are actual opportunities that have opened themselves to us. Hello,